In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a static page and how a static page differs from a category page. So we're going to go over to the samplehour.com and check out Drew's sample hour podcast page on his website. You can see that he has a categories, the sample hour category. He also has these two guys under here in the sub menu. These are his static pages. The difference between a static page and a category is that a categories page gets updated every single time you add a new podcast or blog post to that category. So when Drew adds the sample hour episode 109, episode 108 will drop down and 109 will take its place and all of the episodes underneath it will also drop down one space as well. So every time he every time Drew updates this particular category, this particular category page updates as well. The static pages, however, are a little bit different. The static pages, once you set them, they stay the same until you go back and edit them and update them. They do not automatically update. They manually update. You have to go in there and you can always go back and edit them. Drew definitely needs to edit this page to make it a little bit more flashy. So in every blast pod account when you first start up there are going to be two pages that are automatically generated there's the about our podcast page and there's also the contact us page now these pages are automatically generated but you can definitely go in there and change them to look and be however you want them to be so i'm going to go ahead and do that right now i'm going to go into podcasts and pages and i'm going to go to edit a page and about our podcast i want to change that one and i don't want it being named about our podcast i want that one to actually be named about us and this stuff right here i'm going to go ahead and leave it for this video i'll come back and change it up later but all i have to do is make the changes i want hit preview page make sure that i'm okay with the changes and I'm going to hit edit page and that will give me a new page. When I click on here, you can see that it has changed from about our podcasts to about us. Now, if you want to add a new page, go back to podcasts and pages and hit create new page. This one is going to be prices and services or services and prices. So I'm going to type that in real quick and I'm just going to put in some space some placeholder text here and we're going to go ahead and hit preview page and create page. And now when I go to my blast pod site and click pages, you'll see that the services and prices page has also been created. And when I click on that static page, you can see it has the placeholder text, which I will go back and change later. So that's how simple it is. If you want to create a static page for your website, like an about me page or a contact page or something like that, you're just going to want to go to podcasts and pages and hit create new page. 